guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, welcome to painting number 14 of our 30 day paintings in 30 days project. These are just little painting studies to get reacquainted with watercolor, my watercolor, favorite medium watercolor. And I've set it aside for a little bit. And so we're just doing a little fun daily exercise where we play with paint. I have my inspiration book over that way, a bucket of water and brushes over that way, paint palette right in front of me, uh, and a dryer off to the side, a heat tool. So let's get started, shall we? We're gonna start as usual with the half inch flat Princeton Neptune brush, which is my favorite. And I think I'm not gonna clean my little plate off. I probably should, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm gonna grab one of the blues that's over here. Let's grab the cobalt blue. It's a Winsor Newton cobalt blue. We're gonna just kind of mix it in here, which is gonna gray up the blue, but that's kind of what I want. Okay, and it's just a very light version of itself. And we're gonna add the paint and then add some water. Kind of just model up the background. If you watch me at all for a while, you know I like to get the background set before I do the foreground. So we're gonna dry that and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go right in with um, my round number four brush and I am going to grab some of Jane Davenport's color Inky, which is a dark blue blue color, like a navy almost. It's not quite a paint's gray, but it's pretty dark. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Holbein Van Dyke Brown to it. That was a lot. That wasn't a little bit. <laughs> That's right. Uh, let's get some more of that uh, blue color. There we go. I'm just making myself a neutral. I am looking at one of my inspiration photos, which is of a harbor scene. Just FYI. And I think we're gonna do something inspired by that. I'm gonna grab a little bit more of this blue and put it just like over here. And let it mix with some of the neutral. So what when you're doing a water scene, whatever's above the sky is gonna be reflected. I'm um, sorry, whatever is above the water is gonna be reflected in the water. So one of the reasons by putting this sort of mottled stormy background throughout the whole page is so that those sort of stormy shapes are reflected at least in a small part in the water. Okay, we're gonna give that a dry. Okay, before we go in with, um, there's some boats in the harbor. Before we go in with that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of our dark uh, green color, the Jane Davenport Water Spirit. And I'm gonna just dot a little bit here into the background. And then, bring just a little bit of it down because remember what's above will be reflected below right okay dry it again okay we're going to go in with our teeny tiny brush the round number one and our 
dark color that we made. And we're going to put a few boat shapes in. Uh, I'm barely, again, I've said this before, barely touching the paper with the brush. Okay. I'm going to grab some of the blue. For underneath the boat, I'm going to add some browns. I'm gonna add a little pop of the a bright yellow, I'm sorry, orange here, permanent yellow orange by Holbein. Okay, we're gonna give that a little dry. Okay, we've got our white out pen. Just wanna make sure it's working, yep. And my FX FX brush by Creative Mark. This is their number nine brush. I don't know what that means, but it's just this short, stubby, like scrubby brush. It's a small one. So I'm going to add a little bit, and it's damp because it was sitting in the water. So before that whiteout pen dries, I'm gonna get in here with the damp brush and move that stuff around. Simulate some waves, lighten up the boats a little bit. And I also have my white gel pen. Let's see if it'll decide to work today. You know, I have the worst luck with gel pens. They dry up, probably because I use them on all kinds of crazy mediums, so they like dry up really quick. Oh, it's semi working. There we go. So that's just our quick little study painting. So let's take our tape off. Oops. It's a great way to work out if you wanted to paint something like this that was large size. This is a great way to work out the colors and the shapes how many boats maybe that you wanted to put in the harbor, what colors you wanted to use for the boat. It's a great way to use to work out those thoughts and ideas in a small scale. And you could do a series of them until you worked out how exactly you wanted the big one to look. But there we go. Painting number 14. All right, on to the next. Through, through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.